I'm Lauren with Pack Hacker, and today we're going to be taking a detailed look at the Boundary Supply Ren and Shoulder Bag, which I've been testing for the last two weeks. Let's dive in. So this pack here is made with 100% recycled materials and the one thing that I will note about that while they do feel really great is that it collects pet hair like nobody's business. So you can see some white cat hair all over this bag. It does lint roll off pretty easily, but you know, the second I set this down, it really started to collect on there. So something to keep in mind if you have pets. But we're gonna take a look at the external features all over this pack. So uh, right off the gate, we have some carry handles here. We have one on the top if you just want to carry it you know for quick grabs and then this one on this side here this one was really great for like hanging it off my desk so it has a little bit you can see there's like a little bit of extra space here and the strap itself is a little bit thinner versus this top carry handle which is definitely more comfortable um, but I like that there were two different options and they never really felt like they got in the way but I could hang the bag and it wasn't you know horizontal like this it was vertical and it took up a little less space. So another thing on the back, which is really great, is that this back panel transforms into a luggage pass-through. So out the gate, we just have this little pocket, right? It's, you know, there is a base to it. You can put things in here if you want to. Primarily this is to, if you want to store these straps out of the way, this pack does attach, but I'll get into, um, I'll get into that. It attaches to other boundary supply bags. And then you can put your finger back here clip it in nice and secure and then you've got this tiny little package but what is also really nice is that if you wanted to use this on a piece of roller luggage as you have this ykk uh, self-locking zipper down at the bottom here and this just opens up and it creates a luggage pass through for you so that's really great it's just a nice little add-on feature i like that it wasn't just automatically a luggage pass through it's nice that you have the option to make it that, or you can use this as a back panel pocket if you have some like additional folders or anything you wanna carry if you do a lot of business carry. And then on the bottom here as well, there's a little bit of extra give with these, these straps here that secure the top down. And so I'm gonna give it a little extra space there. And so if you wanted to attach like a tripod or any sort of additional gear, down at the bottom there, then that's a uh, that's a really great spot to do it. Makes it nice and easy and you do have that extra give. And then when you don't wanna use it, you can just cinch it right back up. So taking a quick look at the harness system itself, as I mentioned, we have this just fairly basic crossbody strap. There's no additional padding. It adjusts fairly easily. You can see you know, where most of my adjustment was throughout my testing because it kind of created like some sort of an indent, uh, which is kind of nice because then it can get back to where I originally wanted it. Uh, but that adjusts pretty, pretty nicely, fairly simple. Um, but one of the nice features, as I mentioned, is that this does attach to the run and day pack. So uh, what you have here are two gatekeeper clips up top and then on the inside, two additional gatekeeper clips and so if you wanted to it just sort of attaches to the front of the pack like this and so this is like additional storage a little bit modular so that's a nice feature but in general the the carry is fairly simple fairly comfortable even with these not having um, too much padding on them so just trying this on for you here, you can see that it fits very, very much like a regular crossbody bag. And so this is backed out with gear, pretty much uh, the maximum that I could fit inside of here. And you do feel like a little bit of the pull right here, but it is still comfortable. So you can adjust it however you want. I mean, crossbodies in general are a little bit stiff on your side, these like messenger bags. And so you can put it to the back if you'd like and then it just sort of hangs down nice and low, or you can bring it a little bit more to your front, whatever's the most comfortable, but you do have you know, a lot of adjustability to work with if you have you know, different torso lengths and things like that. And it is fairly comfortable, again, as I mentioned, there's just no additional padding to like really pad it out if uh, carry comfort is a huge deal for you. So let's take a look at the secondary compartments. So what we have here is a top quick grab pocket, this here is felt lined and great place for sunglasses or any sort of sensitive gear that you want to keep protected. It has a nice feel to it. It's not overly soft, but it does feel really quality. And then it does have 
a little zipper garage in addition to that um, that like weather protected zipper track as well. So in general, fairly simple on the outside. So we'll kind of get onto the inside pocket here. So if you look here, you can see a little bit of it, this little zipper pull right here. These are uh, like paracord wrapped with like a Hypalon kind of material, a little bit, feels a little stiffer than Hypalon, but feels like Hypalon. And so we have the main compartment. These just unbuckle, opens up nice and easy. And then you have this zippered compartment. So one of the things that I found a little bit cumbersome was getting to this zippered compartment. I found myself always dumping things in this top pocket. So that kind of defeated the purpose of being a great spot for sunglasses because I would put sunglasses in here, but then I didn't want to have to, you like, you know, to get in here, you have to unbuckle, then you have to open it and then you have to open the zipper. It was hard to get in otherwise. So I would put my keys in that top compartment, but then they'd be butting up against my glasses. So it kind of defeated the purpose. Um, definitely something that was just a bit more of a trade-off. What's nice is that everything on this pack is so weather protected because the only exposed zipper here has additional um, protection on it, whereas this one does not, but it is underneath that flap and it's nice and securely closed. This is just a, a bit of Velcro as well to keep things nice and secure. So inside this actual compartment itself, we have two larger pockets and then a pen, pen silo. So I just have my phone dumped in here. And then I just sort of, this sort of acted as like a little bit of a dump pocket for stuff that I didn't have up top. So on here we have the keys. So this is a loop that uh, is compatible with their key dock, but there is no additional like string or hook or something. So I've myself have added a little carabiner, a little night eyes S beaner, and then that holds my keys. So that's something where, you know, you don't want to like feed your keys in and out of this every single time. That's pretty tedious. So a quick carabiner is nice and easy unless you have the extra modular stuff. And then we have these two pockets here, um, a little extra space there. Like I said, I have my phone in there and then I have my couple of tech items and quick grab items. And then over here, I just have a wallet. Oh, look, an additional chapstick. I like hoard chapsticks, so that doesn't surprise me. But uh, and then you have the pen silo here. And so there's a fair amount of space in this main compartment or rather this front compartment, um, a little bit of string coming loose, like right here, very, very minor. I would say the, the biggest thing that I notice here is the pet hair, that, that string was kind of like not really a huge deal at all. But um, the, there is a fair amount of storage in that front compartment, which is nice. Um, but like I mentioned, it's just a little bit tedious to get to. And I found myself putting stuff in that top compartment for the most part. So I closed the pack up to start fresh to give you a look at the side of this main compartment. So the main compartment, you can see like that flap has folded over and it creates a nice weather, weather resistant seal. So that's really nice. Um, it, it does, like I mentioned, have a lot of weather, kind of weather resistant, weather proofing features on it. So if you open this up, detach that Velcro, this is what actually folds over. It has a little bit of stiffness to it, which is nice, a lot of added structure, and then it just sort of bows out and creates almost like a little bucket shape for you. So this is the inside of the main compartment, just to kind of give you a quick look at what I have in here. I have a little tech pouch. I have a notebook and a keyboard, and then my laptop. So I actually reloaded this front compartment to show you how this sort of packs out. You can see that it's cutting into the space a little bit there, which is not a huge deal. But what I did find is that it made it pretty hard to interact with this main compartment without things getting really like, they really like interact with each other, I guess you could say. So it was hard to get anything in here that wasn't really flat once you started loading things in. So this back laptop compartment, nice and padded. Um, it is, you know, a little bit of a a little bit of a false bottom there as well for extra protection. And this fits a up to a 14 inch laptop. So I have a 13 inch MacBook right there, fits nice and snug. And then, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put this notebook back in here in addition to my keyboard and my tech pouch. 
and then show you sort of what happens when I want to add anything else. So you can see that's pretty much packed out. You have a little extra space up top here, which is nice, but I, I found myself like needing to store bulkier things. Um, and so that wasn't super helpful for me because of those thin items. But if you do carry a lot of like notebooks and folders and things like that, then that's really great. But what I will show you is like, for example, I have this like Tupperware container, right? And so, you know, bringing lunch to the office, bringing a snack, something like that. I put this in here and it fits like in theory very nicely. But then when I actually go to fold things back up, it like won't go over that and it needs to get to that Velcro. I mean, theoretically, you really could just like expand this out and not need that Velcro and like that's that's great but to take advantage of I guess like all of the features in this and have it not just look like a really kind of odd wonky shape then it does really start to struggle as you add bulkier things in there and see if I was to maybe take out this notebook then it adds a little bit of extra mobility and but not a ton so that was really the biggest issue that I had with this is that the second I wanted to add anything that wasn't super flat, I really started to struggle to be able to get it in there. So here's like an example fits all the way down at the bottom there, which is great, nice and snug. But then once I want to add in something like this, it starts to get a little strange. You can't really do that super well. And so I really started to struggle to get those bulkier items in there. But if I did have things that were flat, like I mentioned with just these notebooks, um, just additional folders, things like that, then that's really great. Just struggled a little bit if I wanted to like bring lunch to work, I would have to like carry it separately, which is a bit inconvenient. So there you have it, the Boundary Supply Ren and Shoulder Bag. Thanks for keeping it here.